Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to save Telegram messages in Google Sheets. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new message on my Telegram group, I want to save that same message in Google Sheets and that too automatically. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Telegram and Google Sheets and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. So Pabli Connect works on two principles trigger and action so in trigger we are going to take telegram and in action we are going to take google sheets and we will set up a connection in between these two applications without any coding or programming skills to automate this entire process and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen in this video, we are going to learn how to record Telegram messages in Google Sheets. So I have an event management company named as Sparkle Events and I have created a group on my Telegram account related to that same company, which, which contains all the creative team members of my event management company. Now my objective is that whenever a new message will be received on that same group on Telegram, I want to save that message over here in my Google Sheets. Okay. So generally we are going to allow different kind of tasks to different team members on that group and I want to record all the tasks which are allowed located to different team members along with the description, assignee and the due date. That means all the details. Okay. So I'm not going to do this process manually every time because we are going to receive multiple messages on our telegram group. Therefore, we are going to automate this entire process of saving telegram messages in Google Sheets with the help of Pabli Connect. So with the help of Pabli Connect, we can connect multiple applications without any coding or programming skills. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now because i'm already an existing user therefore i'm clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Add new telegram messages to Google Sheets. After giving this name, here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have already created a folder with a name as telegram and Google Sheets automation. I have selected that and now let's click on create. As we have run that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the main concepts or the principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take telegram in our trigger and google sheets in our action and we want that whenever a new message will be received from telegram then automatically that message should be saved in google sheets. So here we can clearly see that action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the message is received on telegram group then only it is added in google sheets otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of this trigger in action let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all because we want that whenever a message will be received from telegram we want to receive the response of that message here in Pabli Connect. Therefore, our trigger application over here will be Telegram. So we will simply select that. Now we have to select the trigger event. So our trigger event over here will be set web book or watch updates. We have selected that. And now after doing this, we have to click on connect to set up a connection between Telegram and Pabli Connect. Now for doing this, I'm going to select add new connection. And if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with existing connection over here. Now when we have selected add new connection, we also have to provide some detail. Now as we have selected add new connection, we also have to provide token over here. From where we are going to find that token, for that the instructions are provided to us over here very carefully. For that, we have received the instructions as well. So we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So I'm going to take you towards my Telegram account. So for that, you have to first of all search for Botfather. Okay, after coming on Botfather, you have to send a message over here. That will be slash new bot. Okay, so I'm going to send this message. And it is asking us that now... So now it is saying, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So basically we have to provide a name to our bot. Okay, so I'm going to give the name to this bot as the name of my company, Sparkle Evenings. 
it is saying good now let's choose a username for your bot so this was just the name now we have to choose a username as well so in the username of our bot we also have to provide underscore bot at last so i'm going to give the name as sparkle evenings underscore bot let's see and yes, it is saying done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at this. So this means that our bot is created. So I will simply copy it and I'm going to paste it over here in Pabli Connect. Now when we are going to click on save. Our connection between Telegram bot and Pabli Connect is successful. So now we have to click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, it is showing waiting for response. This means that now we have to do a test submission. And how we are going to do that by sending a message on our Telegram group. But for that, first of all, we have to create a group. Okay. But for that, first of all, you have to create your Telegram group. So this is my group, which I've already created. And I've also added the bot, which I have recently created with the name as Sparkle Evenings in this particular group. So this is for creative team of my organization. Every time a new task will be assigned to the team member over here in this group as a message, then I want to save that message and the task details in my Google Sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to do a test submission. I'm going to simply enter a message over here. But before that, we have to do one more thing. We have to provide access rights to our bot. Okay, so that it could send the message towards Pabli Connect. So here in my group, we have two members, the owner, that is me and the Sparkle Evenings bot. So I'm going to first of all, provide admin right to this bot, which we have to do with the help of Telegram mobile application. And I have provided the admin right over here to the bot. Now we'll go back and we will send the message in this group. So let's say I'm going to send the new task message as so this is the message which I'm going to send. Hello team, here is a new task. Task name, social media calendar. This is the description of the task, assignee, dummy user and the due date. Please complete the task before time. So I'm going to send this message. And as soon as we have done that, let's go back towards Babli Connect and we will wait for a few seconds. And we can find that yes, here we have received the response. In the response, we have received all the details. In these details, we have also received the message. So because we have received this message, that means our connection between Telegram and Pabli Connect is successful. Now we have to send this message towards Google Sheets to create a record. But before that, because we have received this message in a combined format, this is the message format. We have to record this message in different fields, in different columns of this Google Sheets. Okay, so for that, we have to separate this message. That means we have to split the message over here. So for that, we will use text formatter. So text formatter allows us to format the text according to our requirements in our workflows. So here, we will use text formatter in our action application. Let's select that. And now to split the text, we have to use text parser. So we are going to fetch out the details which we want to add in Google Sheets from the text. Okay, let's click on connect. Now it is asking us to enter the text which we want to format. So we want to format the text which we have received as a message from our earlier response. So we will simply map that text. Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here we can see here are all the details. So we want to map the message text. So let's select that and it is mapped. Now when we have mapped this text, it has become dynamic. That means means with each and every new response it is going to be replaced. This means that now whenever a new response will be captured from telegram automatically the message is going to be replaced over here in this field and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of recording telegram messages in google sheets. But in case if we will enter the data manually over here then it will become static and then it is not going to replace okay. So therefore in order to automate the entire process we use mapping. Now the next it is asking us is the text match after and text match before that the text which we want to fetch out from this long text is given after. So first of all, I want to fetch out the task name and the task name is given after task name column in this long text. So I'm going to enter task name colon over here. And now it is asking us text match before. So it means that the text which we want to fetch out is given before. So our task name is given before task description. So I'm going to enter task description colon over here. And now we are going to click on save and send test request button. And we can see that we have received the response this is the task name in this way we can fetch out the details from a long test with the help of text parser now in the similar method we are going to fetch out all the details so we will quickly click on this add action step button once again we will select text formatter by pabli and now we are going to select our action event that will be text parser let's click on connect now once again we are going to map the text and now the next we want to fetch out is the task description so it is given after task description and it is given before assign name. So let's click on save and send test request button. We can see that we have received the description of the task. Now once again in the same manner we are going to retrieve the assignee name as well as the due date also. So now once again we are going to select text formatter and the action event will be text parser. Once again let's click on connect. We will quickly map the text over here. This time we want to get the assignee name. It is given over here. So we have mapped that. It is given before due date. 
Now we will click on save and send test request button once again and here is the assignee name. At last we will fetch out the due date as well. Action event will be text parser. Let's click on connect. Now we will quickly map the text over here and here I'm going to enter the text which we want. So we want the text date which is, which is given after due date and it is given before please. Okay, done. Let's click on save and send test request button once again. I have entered the data over here manually because I'm going to receive the messages on my group in the same format. We have decided a format to assign the task to different members in our group and the message for the task will be received only in this particular format. So all the details which we have entered over here will be same. Okay, only the data is going to replace. Now after receiving all the details, we want to map all these details in order to enter the data in Google Sheets. So for that, we will simply connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. And now in order to do that, our action application here will be Google Sheets. So let's select that. Now we have to select the action event which will be add new row. So whenever a message will be received from Telegram, we want to add a new row in our Google Sheets to record that message. Now we are going to click on connect and because I'm going to create a new connection over here with Google Sheets account, therefore I've selected add new connection. But in case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now we will simply click on sign in with Google and here we have to select our account. And now we have to click on allow to provide access to Pabli Connect because Pabli Connect is asking us to access our Google Sheets. And as we have done that, we can see that our authorization has become successful and Google Sheets is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now, after building this connection, we have to quickly set up a connection between this spreadsheet. So for that, we have to select our spreadsheet name that will be Telegram Messages. Now we have to select the sheet name, which is also selected over here because we have only created one sheet in the spreadsheet. Okay. Now the next is task name, description, assignee and due date. We have already received all these details from our earlier response. We have formatted the data from text formatter. So we will simply one by one map all these details. First of all, we will map the name of the task. Then we will map the description. Okay. Then we will map the assignee name. And at last we will map the due date. Okay. Done. Let's click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, we can see that we have received a response. So let's go and check whether automatically the data is recorded in our Google Sheets or not. And yes, we can see that the data is automatically recorded over here with all the same details. This means that our connection is perfectly successful. And we have created an automation that now whenever a new message will be received on Telegram group, that message will be recorded over here in our Google Sheets as well. Now we are going to test this workflow once again. I'm going to go back towards Telegram and I'm going to once again send a message over here. So this is the message. This time I have changed the task details. The task name is generated captions the description is generate unique captions for festive post this is the assignee name test user and this is the due date now i'm going to send the message and as soon as we have done that let's go and check whether automatically a new record is created in google sheets or not and yes here we can see that the record is automatically created so this means that our connection is working fine and we have successfully completed this workflow in the same manner you can set up the connection between telegram and google sheets in order to record the messages which you are receiving from telegram group in your google sheets and i have just taken the example of task over here but you can create this workflow to save any messages you want which are important for you in your google sheets automatically okay so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.